To evaluate for a pleural effusion, place your probe, which will typically be either a curvilinear or phased array probe, at the mid-axillary line with the probe marker towards the patient's head a few rib spaces superior to the costal margin. This will effectively recreate the right or left upper quadrant view from the FAST exam, but just a few rib spaces higher. In this clip, you can see either the liver or the spleen here, and this bright white line is the diaphragm. Just superior to the diaphragm, you can clearly see a large anechoic space, which represents the pleural fluid collection at the base of the lung. You may also be able to see these other signals moving in and out of the image, which are parts of the lung as it expands and contracts within the fluid cavity. Oftentimes, you will see what looks like liver tissue, or simply a line of B lines, moving through the effusion, as pleural effusions are often caused by CHF and will frequently cause compressive atelectasis. Alternatively, you may see static or dynamic air bronchograms in the nearby lung tissue indicating a consolidation, such as that seen in pneumonia.